Oh, buddy, do we got to talk? Um, okay, so like uh last night I found this <laughs> I found this really good Star Wars fan fiction. And let me tell you, let me tell you, if you are an Obikin stand, if you are someone who was fucking heartbroken like me when uh, Anakin and Obi-Wan like fought on Musafar and if you have been upset for years because I have been I love Anakin Skywalker with my whole chest uh, and basically this fanfiction you need to read it because it's so good basically Obi-Wan manages to, to subdue Anakin and he takes him away from Musafar and Anakin is still like intact and everything and he like manages to bring him back from the brink and brings him back to the side of the light side of the force and it's the most beautiful thing I've ever read in my life and I want to die oh my god you guys I'm being really annoyed I'm so sorry but like oh my god guys he brings him back. This is all I ever wanted. Like I, like I feel like I've healed in a way that I didn't even know I was broken, just from reading this fanfic. Because I, like guys, like, like he's still Anakin, and like he even gets hot. Like there's some cute stuff with like him and baby Luke and baby Leia, and like, I mean obviously it's an Obi Kin fic, so like him and Obi Wan like you know that happens but like it's really slow build and a lot of the first part of the fic is literally just obi-wan like having to help anakin come back to the light side of the force and he basically has to meditate with him and go inside his mind and like beat back the dark side that has tried to like take over anakin's like mind and you guys it is the most beautiful thing i've ever read oh my god i want to die <laughs> like i'm being hella dramatic right now i understand but guys okay it's called under the four moons you must read it you must read it it's so good oh my god it's so good and it's just <sighs> anyway it's just it makes me so happy it makes me so freaking happy i i am just in love with with it so much yeah and i just i had to tell somebody about it because it's so good and i want to cry uh and i just yeah so i just feel so much better now that i finished it i'm just like oh my god and now i know that anytime i get upset about the fact that anakin became darth vader i can just reread that fic and i'm gonna be fine i'm gonna be good i'm gonna be like listen in y'all's world maybe Anakin became Darth Vader, but in my world, he's living a great good life with Obi-Wan Kenobi and everything is fine. Um, <laughs> oh, and Yoda's in it and Yoda is so good. I love it. I, it's, I just love when people get Yoda right and I just love Yoda. I mean, I love Master Yoda. I think he's awesome. So the whole thing is just beautiful all the way around. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's gonna water your crops, it's gonna fold your laundry, it's gonna do everything for you, it's gonna pay your bills, it's gonna do it all. So, uh, you should read it. Um, also, I have been reading A Destiny of Dragons by Ch Mr. T.J. Clune, and I am 17% of the way in, I think I'm on like chapter 5 or whatever, because I was reading that when I was waiting for my physical therapy appointment, uh, earlier today. So, yeah, and it's really, really good. Um, Huh. I don't think I'm going to finish it by the end of today, which sucks, because if I did, then I would complete my TBR, but I just am trying to be realistic. I don't think that's going to happen, because I'm literally about to sit down and, like, play some serious Horizon Zero Dawn for a bit, and then after that, I need to actually do some things, like, I need to clean the kitchen, I need to, like, pack my bathroom stuff, um, and all that because I packed all my clothes yesterday all my clothes are packed That's all good, but I need to pack like my electronics my chargers which that'll have to wait until the morning But I need to pack like all that stuff. Oh, I also got this super cute Nintendo switch uh, Animal Crossing case 
because I'm taking my Switch with me, obviously, and I needed something to carry it in. And it's got a really cool, like, compartment for all my games, so I'm able to take all my physical games with me. So, yeah, that's cute. That's awesome. I wish I could take Horizon Zero Dawn, but that's not a thing. Uh, but, yeah, so... That's what I'm about to do. I'm going to play that for a bit, and then I am going to clean the kitchen and then figure out the packing stuff. And yeah, I'm just going to try to have a good day. After physical therapy, my shoulder has started to hurt again, so that's why I'm sitting here on the heating pad like this. But it's all right. It's not that bad. I'm all right. I'm okay. I'm doing all right. But yeah, today's been a good day. I'm in a good mood. Oh, also, where's my phone? Oh. I'm filming on my phone. I can't show you. Guys, I had to go get a new pop socket because mine fucking broke. And I have to have a pop socket or I'm going to drop my phone. And especially when I'm on a trip, I do not want to drop my phone. So, I got a new pop socket and it's Boba Fett. And it's so good. It's like his armor thing. It's like his, um, I can't explain it well. That's why I wish I could show you. But whatever. You get what I'm saying. It's Star Wars. Yay. Love that. Um, for me. And it was the only Star Wars one they still had. So, that's why I got that one um yeah so cool okay oh also i have a new paul Wall paul walker sticker on my phone well it's brian o'connor it's brian from like too fast too furious and he's sitting in front of his silver car and he's so beautiful and i want to die looking at him oh also i'm still rereading unfinished business not the first fic but like the series <sighs> Y'all, I'm just reading the best fanfics that exist, and it's honestly life-changing. And I'll talk to you later.
Long time no talk. So it is Wednesday and uh, it's Wednesday. I got back from my trip last night at like four in the morning because we decided to leave early because we were both just wanted to be home. So we did that. It was fun though. Um, we did quite a bit of stuff uh, and we went to these really cool museums. There was this one museum that had like this big Japanese section and it was so cool and they also had beanbags and they had a whole thing of manga and you could choose to read some and I did that and you guys, I read The Girl from the Other Side volume one and let me tell you, it was so damn good. It was so good. So I definitely wanna continue that manga because my God, was it good. Uh, and it was just, it was such a cool place. Uh, I really loved that museum. I think that was super fun. Uh, yeah, and we just did a bunch of other stuff and we had a good time. I saw two of my friends that still live out there, so that was fun to see them and hang out. So, yeah, I mean, we just, we had a pretty good time. I'm back home now. I'm in my office. It's so good to be alone. <laughs> Let me tell you. Being with someone 24-7 for like a week is the most draining thing I've ever felt in my entire body, in my entire soul. I'm just not this type of person. It's so nice to just be alone. <laughs> I mean, it's us in the other room, but like I'm in, my office, I'm in my office with the door closed. I'm alone. And I'm like, oh, thank God. So anyway, so that's where we're at. Um, yeah. And I just wanted to give you guys a little haul of what I've gotten. Uh, when I was out there and stuff. Um, also, to give you a reading update, so I am still reading A Destiny of Dragons by T.J. Klune, just because I didn't have too much reading time while we were out there. Uh, but I am like 72% of the way through, so here in a minute I'm going to just sit in my reading chair in my office and I am just going to knock it out uh, and finish it because it's so good. I mean, of course it is. It's T.J. Klune. Like, <laughs> he never does me wrong. So I'm having a great time reading that. And then I did also finish a whole book though. Um, so for the magical readathon, for one of the prompts, I'm doing the Books of Magic by Neil Gaiman. And I read that entire comic when uh, one night when like we got done early. And I was like, I just need to read. So I got on my tablet and I just read the entire comic book. And it was so good, you guys. Neil Gaiman is the smartest person alive, I swear. He's so smart. The things that he does and like the ways that he plays around with words and language and ideas, like these big concept ideas and the way that he breaks it down, the way, just the things that he does. He's just so smart. He's just so smart. So I'm obsessed with him basically. <laughs> Some of the cool stuff we got. So at the museum, the one I was telling you about that at the Japanese section, um, I got this is like a stationary set and it's um, Hokuzai uh, landscapes, which basically this is the same person, like here's one of them, but this is the same person that did, it's this artist that did like this piece that like everybody's seen. I love it. And it comes with like four other designs. So it comes with those. It comes with this one, the one I just showed you and the other one. So yeah, no, I am so happy that I have this now and it comes with like um, some little envelopes and everything and I got it because like, you know, I love stationery and I love this, um, the art style of these. So super happy about that. Um, also while we were gone, my shoulder's still been hurting. It's kind of hurting right now. Uh, so it's been hurting and I have my follow appointment tomorrow and yeah, so that's super fun. And then also we went to this cool bookstore called The Collected Works, which is like in downtown Santa Fe. And there I found The Land of Stories, The Wishing Spell, and The Enchantress Returns by Chris Colfer because I have been wanting to buy these because I love Chris Colfer and I really want to read uh, his middle grade series, which I have, I think I've read this one before, but it was so long ago. So I'm happy to own them now. I want to collect all of them and yeah, do that. Then I also, at the museum, I got Johnny Appleseed by Joseph Whitehead and it's won like so many awards. <laughs> um, but what it 
got, like, what got me to get it was, you're going to need a rock and a whole lot of medicine, is a mantra that Johnny Appleseed, a young two-spirit in G queer and NDA glitter princess repeats to himself in this vid- vivid and utterly compelling debut novel by Joseph Whitehead. And I was like, so, like, really what got me was Johnny Appleseed because I don't know if anybody else remembers this, but there was like a day in elementary school where it was basically Johnny Appleseed day and like you had, you had to bring something about apples. So like we had apple butter, apple cider, apple sauce, like, and it was just like a whole thing. Um, and so I remember talking about Johnny Appleseed and I was like, oh, let me see what that is. And then it was like, it was queer and it was like so cool in its own voices. And I was like, oh. so I got it. Um, but yeah, no, it sounds really good and it's not even that long, but I'm really excited to read it. I think it's going to be so good. So I can't wait to read this. Um, and then another thing that I got, this is at the same place I got the stationery, that really cool museum. And it's, um, Quain stories of ghosts and other strange things and uh basically because like the Japanese section was all about like kitsune and oni and yokai and like all the different like supernatural beings of the Japanese culture and this book is basically just a bunch of stories about that so I was like that sounds really cool (laughs) so I got this and it looks like it's gonna be really good and it's just like a bunch of different stories so yeah so those are the books that I bought while I was out while I was gone um and yeah I'm just really excited of course I am because I love books but yeah um I also got some other cool stuff I got a blanket and it has every single one of the um team members like our main ones that we know obviously so like it's got the first years the second years and the third years so it's got like um Tusky and Yamagachi Hinata and Kagama and then it has uh Dashi and Sugawa and it's got Tenka and Nishinora and Ashi and you know like like all our mains <laughs> all our mains are on it and it's just, it's so soft and cozy and it's great. And I got it from Hot Topic and I'm really happy that I have it. And I also got a new lanyard, which I've been needing because I've had the same lanyard for my keys for like seven years. So I got a Demon Slayer one. And so it's got Tanjiro on one side, Nezuko. Yeah, I was like, I was just about to say it and then it like popped out of my head, but yeah. And Nezuko on the other side and it's so cute. So that's a really fun time for me to have that. I love it. Um, and then I got a couple of clothing items while I was out there. Just staying on. <laughs> Super cool. Um, yeah, so it was a good trip all around. Pretty good. Um, but I'm happy to be home. I'll talk to you later. Anyways, I'm a struggling. Okay, so it is Thursday, and I had my follow-up appointment today for my fucking back, shoulder, whatever the fuck we're calling it, whatever, um, so, they have made it to where my restrictions aren't so severe, so I should be able to go back to work on Monday, uh, I can lift up to 40 pounds now, so I should be good, and yeah, and then I have another follow-up appointment on, like, the 22nd to, like, see how I'm doing. I have physical therapy tomorrow. I have physical therapy twice next week. So, that's what's going on. Also, the doctor refilled my muscle relaxers. Thank God, because I wanted to die. And also, she gave me four lidocaine injections. Four of them. Two in my neck. One right here, and then one down where the spot is where, like, all the pain has been originating from. And I totally believe her that it's going to help, but right now, no. No, it hurts. And I'm just like, can it just not be a thing? And it was funny because I, like, called my workers comp girl because I had to, like, let her know what happened. And she was like, well, you don't sound excited. Is it bad news? And I told her about the four injections. And she was like, oh, yeah, no. <laughs> She's like, that sucks. And I'm like, I know. Video games. I played Horizon Zero Dawn for a bit. And then I played Katari Fable, Katari Tells, whatever. That new cat farming sim battle game that came out. I was playing that for like an hour. And I watched uh, the premiere of 90 Day Fiance the other way. Uh, And so I did that. 
yeah. So that's what I have been doing, but I'm about to go watch some booktube and I'm going to start the uh, the book that I am buddy reading with my friend Rachel and Sarah. So, because Sarah's already three chapters in and Rachel's already like 15 chapters in because she started it before me and Sarah got our copies or whatever, which is cool, but... And then I've been on vacation until the other day, so like I haven't had a chance. So I'm about to watch some booktube. I'm gonna read probably, I'll probably read like the first five, ten chapters, something like that, depending on how I feel. And yeah, and then once I do that, then I'll talk to them and see what the what they are thinking about it and what's up. But yeah, so that's my plan right now. And then after I do that, I gotta figure out what book I'm gonna read next, like just me, myself, and I, because I don't know. I'm thinking it's probably gonna be. The Crooked Sixpence. Oh, that reminds me. I did finish A Destiny of Dragons by T.J. Klune last night. It was really fucking good, but of course it was. It's T.J. Klune. Uh, but yeah, I did finish that last night, and I did really enjoy it. Uh, but yeah, I think for right now, I'm a little, like, not T.J. Klune doubt, but like, I don't want to read another T.J. Klune, like, back to back. So I'm not going to read Into This River I Drown yet. I think I'm probably going to go with this one, just because I think this one I can read this weekend, because today's Thursday, so I still have three more days before I have to be back at work, so... I think I'm gonna try to read this and finish it because it's only like 200 something pages so it should be pretty quick and easy and then after that I'm probably gonna read my Star Wars book because <laughs> that's the vibe so yeah those are my plans that's what I'm gonna be doing I'll talk to you guys later hey what's up it's Friday and I'm at home obviously <laughs> Uh, so I'm waiting to hear back if I can go to work on Monday or not. It looks like I'm probably going to be able to, but it's still up in the air at this point, and I'm just like, guys, please don't make me stay home another two weeks. I'm so bored. <laughs> so, we're going to see about that. But anyway, had my physical therapy this morning, so that was cool. Uh, it was so early, though, I had to be there at 8.30. Because I got a refill on my muscle relaxer, so I took one of those last night. So I was, like, sleeping, sleeping. So when my alarm started going off, I was like, oh, no. I could have slept, like, another hour for sure. But I did actually sleep really well last night for the first time in a minute. So that was good and great, and I needed it. Um, and then also I got new coffee. I got that stuff that they drink on one day at a time, the uh, Dolce, whatever, the Cafe de Dolce or whatever it is called. I got that. That shit is so good. That is such good coffee. I am like, my God, I'm never buying Folgers again. <laughs> like, it's so good. Oh, my gosh. Ugh. Yeah. I can't even. It was delicious. I have been reading, and so I thought I would update you. I am 18% of the way through A Master of Gin, which is the book that I'm buddy reading with my friends, Rachel and Sarah. And it's pretty good so far. And I didn't realize it was going to be gay until a chapter came up. And I was like, it's gay. So, our main character, uh, Phantoma, is a agent with, like, this, uh, it's like, it's almost like a sect of the government is what I'm getting from it, and it's basically they investigate, like, uh, supernatural things, so it's real good, and she's also, like, the youngest, uh, agent to ever be, like, recruited or whatever, or whatever, and she, um, she is based in Caro, which is really cool. And, uh, anyway, she, like, <laughs> she, um, has a girl lover, which we love to see it, so it's sapphic, and it's amazing so far, so I love that, um, it's honestly, it, it's just, it, yeah, it's giving me good vibes, so we're reading that together right now, I think I, I'm, like, on chapter six at this point, so I'm enjoying that, it's really fun. Um, and also I just love, like, how she has to, like, trick the djinn, you know? Because you have to be, like, really specific about what you want and everything. Because they will give you what you wish for, but it will be... But it won't be what you actually want because they're going to twist it. Because that's just how they work. So, I really love that. I uh, also started reading, this is not on my TBR for this month, but you know what? It's about to expire from Hoopla, so I had to read it. But I'm reading the next book in the Jedi Quest series, which is that series all about Obi-Wan and Anakin. And it's basically Obi-Wan is, it's like the set, this series is set between episodes one and two, and you basically get to see Obi-Wan training Anakin and as he's growing up. So I am on The Trail of the Jedi, which is the second book in that series, and I read 
up to page 56 and there's only 107 pages in this so I'm halfway through so I'm definitely gonna finish that here in a minute because I want to and I'm obsessed uh, right now I'm watching booktube I've been watching booktube all morning just trying to chill I was watching some Gavin middle grade recommendations because I had like you know when you have a credit card and you get points I had some of those so I had enough to get like a paperback like a middle grade paperback so I was like which one should I get so I was like watching Gavin this morning and like looking at his goodreads and trying to figure out which one to get so I picked one so I'll be getting that probably I think it's like coming tomorrow or something but yeah so I did that because free book why not we love to see it so yeah and I'm drinking my water because that's important it goes so I can do my reading and all my things and I'll update you later hey guys it's Saturday it's like 345 or whatever and I'm waiting on my food in the oven so I can eat because I'm starving but I have been sprinting with Olivia and Mel and during the first sprint I finished The Crooked Sixpence by Jennifer Bell and I really loved it. It was so whimsical and magical and it was just a lot of fucking fun. So I had a really good time with this and I gave it like a 4 out of 5. I am really excited to read the next book in this series and yeah, it was really really good. And I'm even more excited to figure out a way to get that book Wonderscape because that it's like a video game-esque one written by the same person and I'm like, but they don't sell it in America so I'm gonna have to get it from like Book Depository, so yeah. But ugh, such a good book. So I did that and then there's another sprint happening right now and I just read the first chapter of Star Wars Gambit uh, Siege which is the second one to the one that I told you guys about like a few weeks ago that I read and that ended in the middle of everything that was going on and it was like continues in this book and I'm like screw you guys that was so rude so anyway so I read the first chapter of that and I'm already having so many Obi-Wan and Anakin feels like you can just tell that this author is straight up Obi-Wan trash like it's so obvious I'm like oh my god it's me though <laughs> uh so like there's literally this part where like they're having to like crash land or whatever because the ship is kind of fucked up and of course I Anakin's piloting it and anyway and they're like bantering and stuff and you know Anakin is like telling Obi-Wan to take the controls or something and he's like being you know I mean he's you know, he's not being very respectful because it's a stressful moment or whatever. And Obi-Wan's literally like, if it was anyone else but Anakin, and then it's like, but it is Anakin. And I'm just like, I want to die. Because <laughs> if that doesn't sum up literally everything about their relationship, nothing else does. Absolutely nothing else. And I'm just like having a lot of emotions. And I'm literally, I just read the first chapter, guys. Like, we just started. <laughs> Uh, but this did complete one of my prompts for the Magical Readathon, so I'm two prompts down, so yay. Uh, the only reason why I'm not further is just because, you know, I was on vacation for like a week, and I've been stressed because of the whole work stuff and then my transcript stuff, which I did hear back from the peoples. I gotta put a bunch of money down, but I'm figuring it out. I should have that figured out this coming up week, I think, and then I should be able to start in the spring and start working on my school stuff, which, exciting, uh, so I can check out my food in the oven and eat some lunch, cause I'm starving, and I'll update you guys later, bye. Hey yo, it's Monday, and I'm gonna go ahead and end this weekly reading vlog here. Should've ended it yesterday, but you know what? I was tired, and I had a long day, and I did a lot of things, so anyway. But I'll just give you an update on what I did do yesterday. So yesterday I played a lot of um, My Time at Porsche, which is one of my favorite video games. I played it when it first came out, Early Access, on Steam. And I played it for a while, uh, while they kept releasing updates and everything. And then they finally released it on the Switch, and I got it on the Switch, and then I started a new game on my Switch. And then yesterday they finally released a huge update for the Switch version, which I think means that it's pretty much... Uh, up to up to date with all the versions that are for the PC version as well because it's got like the massive update that gives you all the extra shit so 
Uh, yeah, so that happened yesterday, so that's why I went back and started playing my time at Porsche on my Switch again. Um, and that was fun. I forgot how much I love that stupid game, and I love that stupid game. Uh, and it's good because I'm just waiting for my time at Sandrock to come out on PC, and it still doesn't come out, so I'm just, like, playing that while I'm waiting. So that's what I'm doing, uh, for video games. Anyway, <laughs> but, and then... I did finish the Anakin and Obi-Wan book yesterday, which was Star Wars Gambit Siege. I finished that yesterday, <clears throat> and it was really good, and I'm just so happy that I now know how that mission ended, because that sucked, reading the audiobook of the first one, and then it being like, to be continued. And I'm like, fuck you guys. Uh, but it was really good, and oh my god, I am so convinced that Karen Miller is an Obi-Kin stan. She's an Obi-Kin stan, I swear to God. There were so many moments that I'm just sitting there like, you gotta be kidding me. Um, yeah, it's insane, and I love it. And it was it was so good. And also, there's like a lot of Master Yoda in there, and I love Master Yoda, so I was having a great, good time with that, and Ahsoka's in there too, and that was really cool. So, yeah, it's almost like a lost episode of The Clone Wars, which, really into that. I am really into that. So, yeah, we had a, we had a lot of fun with, <laughs> with reading that book yesterday, so I finished that last night before I went to sleep. So, yay, and then today at work, I'll be starting one of my audiobooks for the Magical Readathon. I haven't decided which of the three that I'm going to do, but we shall make that decision later. But, so that's what I've got going on. That's what happened yesterday. And, yeah. But, like I said, I'm going to end the weekly reading vlog here, and I will see you guys in next week's.